The first step to replacing the ignition coil is to turn the ignition switch off and remove the key. Lift the seat. Remove the bolt connecting the negative cable to the battery and tuck the battery cable away so it doesn't touch the battery post. Lift the mower hood. We've removed the hood to give you a better view. Remove the air duct mounting screws and pull off the air duct. Rotate each air filter cover retaining knob counterclockwise and pull off the air filter cover. Remove the air filter. Remove the air filter housing screw. Remove the front blower housing mounting bolts. Remove the rear blower housing mounting bolts. Lift off the blower housing. Disconnect the spark plug wire and pull it out of the engine bracket. Turn the flywheel so the magnet points away from the ignition coil. Remove the ignition coil mounting screws. Lift the ignition coil and disconnect the kill wire. Remove the ignition coil. Transfer the spark plug boot from the old ignition coil to the new one. Connect the kill wire to the new ignition coil. Position the new ignition coil on the engine and loosely install the two mounting screws. Pull the coil away from the flywheel and tighten the mounting screws. Turn the flywheel so the magnet aligns with the ignition coil. Insert the feeler gauge. The correct size for most engines is 0.011 inches. Loosen the mounting screws to allow the magnet to pull the coil to it. Tighten the mounting screws. Turn the flywheel by hand and remove the feeler gauge. Route the spark plug wire through the engine bracket. Connect the wire to the spark plug. Position the blower housing on the engine and align the air diverter in the housing. Reinstall the blower housing mounting bolts. Reinstall the air filter housing screw. Reinstall the air filter. Position the air filter cover on the engine and turn each retaining knob clockwise on the cover. Reinstall the air duct and secure it with the mounting screws. Reconnect the negative cable to the negative battery terminal. Lower the seat.